All right, guys, so in this video, I am going to be showing you how to go from this shaky mess VR recording to something much more stabilized if you are using a VR headset and it's going to look something like this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's just roll that intro. All right, guys, so today I'll be showing you how to stabilize your VR footage if you are doing recordings for iRacing or this will work for any kind of PC VR gaming. I'm, I'm going to be using my Oculus Rift S today. Um, I am loving this headset. I, I have been using it a lot lately. But if you guys own a Quest 2, an original Quest, it will work as long as you're using an Oculus headset. And we're going to test out. There's a bunch of different settings you can mess with. So we're going to actually test them out. We're going to see what the different settings actually do. And we're going to see which one we like the best. Um, so you guys can let me know in the comments after we run the track with a couple different settings. But I'm going to show you how to actually do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your program files. This is in your C drive. You're going to go to Oculus support Oculus diagnostics folder and you're going to see Oculus mirror. So once we have this open, um, we're going to be recording through OBS. And now I'm not going to go through how to use OBS. Um, I'm assuming you already know. If not, there's so many videos on how to use OBS for screen recording. What we're going to do in OBS is we're going to add a game capture for a specific window. And you're going to capture the Oculus mirror. All right, guys. So this is the default. This is not stabilized. Recording through Oculus mirror. We're going to do one lap around. I'll look around just to see the shakiness if my head's moving around you know obviously as you're talking with a vr headset your head is shaking around your head's moving around you're looking around you're bopping around you might think your head is not moving around and you're keeping so steady and still but in reality you're, you're probably not you're probably shaking a lot especially like i said if you're talking you're bouncing your head as long as you're talking so this is one lap unstabilized we're going to pull it into the pits and then we're going to come around and we're just going to turn on stabilization. And we're not going to mess with any of the other settings. We'll just turn on stabilization and then we'll start messing with some of the other little settings. So here we go. We're going to go into Oculus Mirror. We are going to go to Image Stabilization. We're going to go Enabled. And then we are going to go back into iRacing and let's see what we got. So we probably have a crop, right? Usually when you stabilize something, it's going to, it's going to crop in that image so we can stabilize it. So we'll see how much of a crop we're getting here, but everything should be stabilized. I'm going to move my head around. I'm going to, I'm also going to look down and look up to see if you can see like my, my gear and stuff, because I think we might have to shut something off that, that one setting that you'll be able to actually see when I'm looking up and down. But right now I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. But we are, we are stabilized. So it should be a much more, much more smoother experience right now. Um, like I can't tell how much the crop is on the actual recording. Because for me, in my VR headset, you know, everything looks normal to me. It's the recording that is going to look a little bit different. But we'll finish up this lap. And then... We'll, we'll do another change of a setting and then we'll just change a couple of settings just to keep seeing, seeing the different things. So let's hop out. Now what I'm going to do is go into settings and we are going to keep upright was the one I was talking about when looking like down and, and, and around and stuff like that. So let's shut off, keep upright. And now let's see, let's see the difference that we're going to, we're going to get an eye racing with keep upright. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see what what the difference is going to be. I'm curious if when I look down at my, at my gear or if I look up at my, at my numbers going on, if you'll be able to see that now where it shows my, where it shows my FPS. So when I looked up like that, I'm not sure if keep upright changes that looking up, looking down, looking down there. See if you can see that stuff now. Not sure if you could see it before. Let's see how stable this is. We're going to run straight. You know, I definitely want, want people to see me looking at those numbers, looking at my places and things like that. So I definitely want that stuff in my, in my recording. 
But again, footage should still be stabilized. Um, keep upright might keep things a little more stabilized. I'm not 100% sure, but when you guys watch the footage, you know, you'll be able to see and comment down below. But now let's change some other numbers here. So I think we were on narrow. And now what I want to do is I want to come out and we are now going to change this to wide. And let's see what actually, let's see what wide is going to do for us. So this is wide. And again, I don't, no, keep getting that speeding in the pits. All right, so I, I don't know what it's looking like until I actually edit this video. So after I watch all the different modes, you know, I'm going to have to decide which is the best mode for recording. But this is on wide. I left the other setting off, so hopefully you can see me looking up, looking down looking all around but hopefully it's still nice and stabilized so the quest so, so i should say so the rift s you know i mentioned it earlier but this headset is it is such a good headset if you can pick one up at a nice discounted price because they're not sold anymore so if you can get a nice used one and when i say discounted you know i think he's well, like 300 maybe Three or four hundred dollars when they were new. But if you can pick one up used for like, I don't know what people are even selling them for, but even if like 150, you can pick one of these up. Possibly that would be such a steal. Because I I am just loving this headset. But let's let's pull in and let's change a couple more settings and mess around with some more stuff here. I'm now gonna go to mild. Let's see what mild let's do let's do a lap with mild and see what what that actually does for us. So we had narrow, wide and mild keep upright is still off so I'm not sure if keep upright keeps it more stabilized or not but if it's stable and keep upright allows me to still look up down and keeping everything stable then I would keep it keep it off um, but, but again we'll have to see the footage but this is on mild. And I'm going to just turn on keep upright really quick right now. So you can see the difference of keep upright on, on and off. So coming to image stabilization, parameters, keep upright. We're going to keep mild on. We are going to hop back into it and just do a quick little run right here. So I'm looking up at my numbers in the upper right. I'm looking down at my lap times and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if you're now able to see that with keep upright on, but here's the stabilization, just driving straight. Should hopefully be super smooth. This is the mild setting. So, you know, this should all be about how much of the crop we're seeing with this. So we're at Dover, and this is a really fun track if you can ever race it. Really fun, really fun. But woohoo! All right. A couple more settings we're going to try here. A couple more, a couple more. We're going to turn off Keep Upright. We're going to change the parameters to... Um, let's go wide. And then we're going to change the field of view scale to 120 field of view scale 120 and now we should get more i believe in the headset but i'm not a hundred percent sure so we're gonna find out and let's see what this actually does for us so let's hop into it and i think this is going to be the last one we're going to test out but again you know you guys can test out all the different settings what works for you but i'd love you to let me know in the comment section which setting combination that you thought was the best one that you saw. We'd really appreciate it if you guys thumb up that video. It would really help me out. And also subscribe. All right, so let me know in the comments which mode you think looked the best. I'd really appreciate it if you guys thumb up that video and subscribe. Really helps me out. Really appreciate it. Hopefully this video helped you out. 
If you have any questions, um, let me know. If I can answer them, I'd be happy to. And you know, you guys can test out all the different settings, see what works for you. But definitely stabilizing VR recording, recorded footage is, is a game changer. And being able to do it right in the Oculus app like this with Mira and not having to worry about using, doing it in post in, in Adobe or whatever software you're using that can take forever to actually do. Um, th this is a game changer. This is totally a game changer. So any questions, if you have any questions on iRacing, on the Quest 2, on the Rift S, anything, just let it, let it, leave it down below. Happy to help. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.